Um, what do we have to do to get more turnovers this season? That's a great question. All right, so I think the number one thing to create turnovers is you have to stop the run. Because when you stop the run and the, and the pass game becomes a bigger part of the offense, turnovers happen a lot in the pass game, right? That's where your interceptions happen. That's where you, know, you hit the quarterback more, the, you know, the ball's in the air more. You know, Woody Hayes used to say, you know, bad things happen. Two bad things happen when you throw it. And that's for us, that's true. So we've got to stop the run, be a better run defense team, and then we'll get the ball in the air more. And that will lead into more turnovers. So that, and I, th I think it's a mindset too. I think our kids have got to embrace the fact how important turnovers are when you run the offense we run. Because when you run the offense we run, the game's a little bit shorter, there's a little bit less possession. So all of a sudden now if you steal one, man, that's a giant, giant play in the game. So a lot of people say we don't pass the ball very much. So um, what can we do to pass the ball more? Well, we, we just got to do a good job of taking advantage in different situations and taking what the defense gives us. Um, you know, certainly there are situations that arise during the game where people are, you know, trying to get an extra guy and run support where we can do that. And, um, you know, last year we, we tried that at times but didn't do a good enough job protecting or finding the, the open guys. And so I think we're going to be better at that. We worked hard on it, and that allows us to have the opportunity to hit big plays in the game. And it's something we've worked hard on this camp, you know, being able to throw under our terms, you know, throw on first down and maybe when they're not expecting it as much. So I think if we can do that, it'll help our offense. Um, what's it like playing for Coach? Monk. <laughs> Coach Monk is a very intense guy. I've definitely learned a lot from him. Uh, it's it's been a great opportunity for me, just really embracing competition. You know, that's something this team really cherishes. Uh, we have competitions after every practice, and that's something we really try to focus on: just winning culture, and winning the competition. Uh, what's it like playing for Coach Monken? Uh, it's actually pretty fun. You know, uh, he's a huge family-oriented man, and uh, that's something that I really take to heart. And uh, it really, really, uh, I have a lot of respect for him. And uh, I, uh, I owe a lot to him. And all the success that I have, as well as the team, um, all goes to Coach Munkin and the staff as well. What's your favorite bedtime story to read to your daughters? <laughs> Good question. So I've got three, three daughters, three of, the, uh, three of God's gifts to the world, and, uh, and certainly to me. So my oldest daughter, Isabel, we like to read the Bible every night. And uh, so we, we do uh, different uh, passages each night. Uh, but her, her favorite book and my favorite book to read to her was Girl, You're Awesome. And uh, she, I would read that book and she liked to act out all the, the little scenes in the book. And then uh, my second daughter, Amelia, who's seven, uh, she likes uh, Toads in Trouble. So that's, uh, that's her favorite. And I like to read that one. And, and we've read that one so many times she knows it by heart. I don't even have to, uh, to read it anymore. And then Evie, who's my youngest, the four-year-old, likes Max and Ruby. And if I try to pick up any other book off the shelf, she's, she's throwing a protest. So uh, th those, are, those are our bedtime stories.